Hello, I'm Dan Stark with Healing Products. This brief video will show you how to detect nitrate-based explosives using the Nitro Pen. The Nitro Pen detector is a lightweight, portable detector for explosives. Positive detection of explosives is determined by color formation on the tip of the detector. Several versions of the Nitro Pen are currently available. All Nitro Pen versions are capable of de detecting aromatic nitro compounds such as trinitrotoluene or TNT, aliphatic nitro compounds such as nitrocellulose or gun cotton, and nitromines such as RDX. The Nitro Pen 02 or 04 versions additionally allow the user to detect inorganic nitrates such as ammonium nitrate or potassium nitrate. The Nitro Pen 03 or 04 comes with a validation pad to ensure proper efficacy of the pens. I will demonstrate the use of the Nitro Pen 04 detector, which allows the user to detect inorganic nitrates as well as validate the performance of the detector should a suspicious powder test negative. The Nitro Pen detector is highly sensitive and simple to use. However, it is very important that the directions provided in this video and the written instructions provided with the Nitro Pen detectors are followed very closely. If you have any questions on the use of the detector, you may call 919-515-0741. Additional information is available on our website at www.chemsey.com. You may also email questions to customer support at appealingproducts.com. Before demonstrating the use of the detector, I would like to go over the parts of the detector. There are six important components for the Nitro Pen 04 detector. The swabbing detector, ampule 1, ampule 2, the detector tube, the Z-pad, and the validation pad. The Z-pad and the validation pad are the upgraded options available for the Nitro Pen. The swabbing tip of the Nitro Pen allows the user to collect a suspicious sample and conduct the analysis. If explosives are present, a color will form on this tip. For aromatic nitrates, such as TNT, the color may vary. For aliphatic nitrates, nitramines, and inorganic nitrates, a pink to purple color will form on the swabbing tip. Moving down the detector is ampule 1. This ampule contains a reagent which will detect aromatic nitrates. Further down the detector is ampule 2. This ampule will be used for all other materials. The nitro pen is enclosed in a detector tube to protect the swabbing detector as well as provide protection when breaking the ampules. The Z-pad upgradable option is used for detection of inorganic nitrates, and the validation pad upgrade is used for verification of proper use. Please note that the nitro pen is packaged with a swabbing tip inside the cardboard tube. Before testing, you must remove the inner plastic tube and reinsert it with the swabbing tip pointing outward. Press firmly to ensure that the tube is fully inserted. We are now going to demonstrate the use of the Nitro Pen by testing a suspicious surface. The surface being tested is contaminated with dinitrotoluene, a chemical which we will use to simulate a reaction for TNT. Press firmly on the location marked A on the Nitro Pen, breaking the ampule inside. Allow the liquid contained in the ampule to flow to the tip of the nitro pen. Rub the suspect surface with the pre-wetted swab of the indicator. Be sure to collect any suspicious powders which may be visible on the surface. Wait 30 seconds. If a blue-green color forms on the tip of the detector, as you can see here, there is TNT or another potentially explosive aromatic nitro-organic on the suspect surface. A color guide is provided in the instructions to help identify specific explosives. We are now going to demonstrate the detection of an aliphatic nitro organic or nitramine. For this test, we are going to use a simulant for RDX, a common nitramine explosive. Again, press firmly on the location marked A on the nitro pen, breaking the ampule inside. Allow the liquid contained in the ampule to flow to the tip of the nitro pen. Rub the suspect surface, collecting any suspicious powders or residues which may be visible, and wait 30 seconds. 
Since no color has formed on the tip of the detector, we can move on to the detection of aliphatic or nitramine explosives. Press firmly on the location marked B on the nitro pen, breaking the ampule inside. Allow the liquid contained in the ampule to flow to the tip of the nitro pen and mix with the liquid from ampule A. Wait 30 seconds. If a pink or red color forms on the tip of the detector, as you can see here, there is RDX or another potentially explosive nitramine or aliphatic nitroorganic on the suspect surface. We are now going to demonstrate the detection of inorganic nitrates using the nitro pen and Z-pad, available with the nitro pen 02 and nitro pen 04 models. Proceed as before, first breaking ampule A and wiping the suspect surface. Wait 30 seconds for a color to develop. Next, break ampule B, allowing the solution to mix with the ampule A solution on the swab. Wait 30 seconds. Since no color has developed, we can proceed with the detection of inorganic nitrates. Press the swabbing tip with the ampule A and B solutions already mixed to the surface of the Z-pad. Hold for 15 seconds. If a pink or purple color forms on the tip of the detector, or on the Z-pad as you can see here, there are inorganic nitrates, such as ammonium nitrate, on the suspect surface. The NitroPen 03 and NitroPen 04 models have validation tabs available which ensure that the detector is functioning properly. These tabs should only be used after all the previous steps and only if no explosives were detected. Proceed as before, first breaking ampule A, wiping the suspect's surface and waiting 30 seconds for a color to develop. Next, break ampule B allowing the solution to mix with the ampule A solution on the swab. Wait 30 seconds. Since no color has developed, we can proceed with the detection of inorganic nitrates, if available. If the Z-pad is going to be used, press the swab firmly on the Z-pad for 15 seconds. Since no color has developed for any step, we can proceed for the validation step. After all testing has been conducted, press the swabbing tip firmly on the validation pad. Hold for 15 seconds. If a pink or purple color forms on the tip of the detector or on the validation pad, as you can see here, the detector is functioning properly. Again, please note that the validation test should be performed only after all other tests, and only if no explosives were detected. This concludes our training video. Again, if you have any questions on the use of any of our products, you may call Appealing Products at 919-515-0741 or email questions to customersupport at appealingproducts.com.